Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Itsy Ritzy and Chelsea and Cole collab. Um, if you're new here, welcome and thank you for um, watching my videos. And if this is something that you're interested, please like and subscribe. And if you are not new here, then I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be more, more, uh, do more videos for you guys. So I have gotten a few bags while I've been on my break, and um, this is one of them. This is the, like I said, Itsy Ritzy um, Boss Bag, and it was in collaboration with Chelsea from Teen Mom. Um, I did have the first one that they came out with, which they're now calling the OG, and um, I ended up selling it and kind of had instant regret. <laughs> and so I was really excited when they did a second collab with her, and um, it's basically the same um, look, the same style, except that the old one had these pretty studs on just the side pockets, and the interior was floral. And it was very, very, very pretty, and I love floral, but um, my kids are bigger now. I don't have baby babies anymore. Um, my youngest is two, and she's potty trained, so I just felt like I wasn't going to carry that much. But like I said, I had regret, and I just feel like it's good to have at least one big bag or several um, and so I ended up um, ordering this one and I actually really like this one there's mixed reviews some people like the OG better and like I said it's beautiful and I did do a review on it if you want to check that out um, and then some people like this one better some people like both it's just a lot of mixed reviews I like them both um, there's just some minor changes the tassel is different um, and I believe it's on the opposite side now. And like I said, the studs are now on the front pocket versus the side pockets, which I really love. Um, and then we'll get into the interior in a minute. But I just want to show you the the um, tassel. So the other, the first bag had a pearl um, lined tassel. And this one is kind of this chain link, which I really love. I love the new tassel versus the old. Um, some people like the original. Pearl was not really my thing, so I'm really liking these updated changes. Um, that's what it looks like. And it has this really nice bright um, yellow gold hardware, the double zippers, and these zippers are amazing. I'm not sure if they're YKK zippers, but they're very smooth. So that's a bonus. Um, I still, as you can see, have my tags on it. I have not gotten a chance to take this out yet, but I do have experience with other boss bags and the original Chelsea boss bag. So I know that it is comfortable, although it is heavy, which was one of the reasons I did sell the original one. I felt like it was just a bit too heavy. So keep that in mind, it is heavy. I believe the boss bags are about three to four pounds so you can imagine once it's fully packed up it can tend to get heavy but it does have these really great um, backpack straps they're really thick and padded this is on all the ba boss bags or all the ones that I've had um, they're very very thick and you could hear that padding in there um, so that does help but if you are very petite or have a um, bad back or something then it may be a bit heavy for you but they're beautiful um, I always come back to Itsy Ritsy um, they are the first bags that sent me down the rabbit hole and for some reason I can't leave them so um, it has their signature rubber bottom with the little spider it's just an overall gorgeous bag it's definitely my style that's why I had to have it back I really really like it it has a great grab handle. Um, it has this large zipper pocket here. And as you can see, I just have coloring books in there for my girls when we're out and about. Sneak peek of the lining. Um, it does come with a change pad, although I took that out and I left it in my closet. So if you would like to see um, the change pad, let me know and I'll do a quick little video on that. But I'm. I don't want to go and grab it right now so um yeah so here's what the bag looks like on the outside so you've seen the back side now I'm just gonna quickly go over the outside and then we'll get into the inside so if you're not familiar with itsy ritsy or their boss bags um, they're really great 
Um, not all of them are as heavy. This one just tends to be a little heavier because it's this like vegan leather material and also the rubber bottom adds a lot of weight. But that was one of my favorite things about the brand was their rubber bottom. Um, I love bags that have feet because I'm just germy like that and if I'm gonna set it down then I prefer it has a protective barrier. And this rubber bottom is just amazing. It's easy to clean and wipe down and all of that stuff. So I think that's why they're a little bit heavier and it adds some weight to the bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so on this boss bag, it's a little different from It's Uritzi's boss bags because um, this was designed by and with um, in collaboration with Chelsea and their front style here is different um let me grab my my uh dusk and dawn this is a dusk and dawn itsy ritzy boss bag from itsy ritzy so you can see that the chelsea logo is is larger and it has her and cole's logo right there their infinity sign and it's more square versus the itsy ritzy logo which is uh, kind of rectangular, a little smaller, and it just says itsy ritzy. And they're both like, um, like they're not embossed to the bag. They're little like nameplates, which I really like. So I don't know if you can see or notice, but the uh, Chelsea Boss Bag has a zip top here pocket, and it goes all the way down. And I really like that this change or this, um, update was made on the on the Chelsea bag which was another reason why I wanted this particular bag back because I feel secure having a zipper here. This one is just a large slip pocket, same length, it goes all the way down. And then you can see that the front bottom pockets are different. The original Itsy Ritsy Boss bags have two magnetized slip pockets. This one is a little bit larger than this one. This is good for like a phone and then whatever else you need or want here. And um, this one has a zipped pocket, which I love again. So for security um, and it's two zippers. And then this is what the inside of the pocket looks like. So another sneak peek of the interior. And it has all these great little pockets. I love pockets, key leash. The more pockets, the better um, for me. And then um, I'll get into that in a minute. So that's what that pocket looks like. And then this kind of is my favorite pocket. It has just this extra slip pocket right on the front. Like I said, the more pockets, the better. And I just love it. I feel like it's easy access for maybe some wipes or something. Just really convenient to have that there. Now the other changes on this bag versus this bag is the side pockets. The Chelsea Boss Bag has two insulated bottle pockets, so one on each side, whereas the original Boss Bag has this zippered, where is it? This zippered um, insulated pouch, which is nice for like string cheese, applesauce, or uh, you know whatever you need to keep insulated. It has this little zipper pouch. And then on the other side, it has a stretchy insulated pocket. So those are the differences from the Chelsea and original Itsy Ritsy Design Boss Bag. Um, I do have three of these bags. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just a crazy bag lady. But I do, and they, like I said, they're just some of my favorites. My all-time favorites. Itsy Ritsy was the first company that I got into with high-end diaper bags and I just always come back to them. So that's the, this, the differences between these bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way and let's get into the Chelsea bag. Um, like I said, this is their second Chelsea collab and boss bag. The first one's slightly different. Um, so I showed you the zipper pocket, but I'll go ahead and show you again. This is what it's going to look like. And I'm not sure if you could see, but these little black dots, they are actually little hearts. And I love hearts. Um, that just really called to me. It's a very um, simple design versus the floral pattern. 
It's a nice cream color with these little signature hearts of hers. And I absolutely love that. It's also more, I guess, gender neutral, um, whereas the floral was very girly. Um, this is awesome if you wanted the Chelsea bag, but you have, you're a boy mom, this would be a better option. Um, they're available on Amazon. It's exclusive with Amazon. It's not on the Itsy Ritzy website. Um, I'll try to link the direct link to get there in um, the description box, but, and I believe it's the same price point as the first one. Um, the le vegan leather is really soft. It's um, kind of squishy, so it's not all stiff and hard. I really like it. It has like a textured look to it if you can see so I really like that just all the details are so nice it has these gold little studs none on the side pockets this time just on that front pocket and all right let's go ahead and get into what I have in here or actually I'm gonna be I have some some packed some stuff packed in here and then I'm gonna be pulling from the bag that I'm cur currently using <laughs> and put uh, packing this up I'm sorry I'm very rusty you guys um, this is a little Tupperware case of the Little Mermaid um, that I carry and in here I just have some twistable crayons for my girls like I showed you guys I instead of the change pad I have full-size coloring books in here I usually would carry a play pack but I in this type of bag how large it is and I don't need a change pad anymore I figured I could carry full-size um, coloring books for my girls or my my kids um, instead and I really really like that and it doesn't bulk it up either actually these three books are either the same size or slimmer than the actual changing pad so I really like that and so I just carry their crayons in this front pocket so let's get into the inside so it has these double zippers and I said they're really smooth they, they are all the zippers are smooth they don't get stuck or sticky I really like that and on these bags they are known for um, slip zipping all the way down opening all the way down so um, I've seen that some people like that and some people don't um, I do I don't mind it um, I actually like that I can zip it all the way down and see what's in there but then a lot of people have issues with like their stuff falling out it does this bag and the other bags have this little net to kind of contain yourself contain your stuff but it is removable if you don't want it so that's what it looks like. It has these two mesh pockets on the front, which I love. I love when a bag company utilizes all the space in their bag. Um, like I said, the more pockets, the better to me. I just feel like you have the option of using them or not. And um, you get m the most uh, bang for your buck, I guess, like versus just one empty like sack of a bag, I guess versus uh, compared to having pockets that you can utilize. I, I like that idea. I hope that I explained that well. But yeah, it has two zip mesh pockets. It's not one large compartment, it's two separate pockets. And I don't have anything in there right now. Like I said, I only have this like halfway packed up. So what I tend to do is I usually keep kind of like a small, medium, large bag depend packed depending on what I'm gonna be doing for that day. Obviously right now we're um, on lockdown kind of, you know, we're not going a whole lot of places. Um, so I don't get as much use from my bags right now, but I still have them packed up. Um, so most of the time I use a medium sized bag. I'm mostly caring for my two younger girls, which are two and five. They are both potty trained, so I don't have any diapers, I don't have breast pumps, I don't have baby bottles, I don't have any of that stuff, but I do still carry quite a bit for them. And also I have a seven year old son and then I have a 15 year old daughter. So I have four kids and believe it or not, my oldest ones are always like, mom, can you hold this? Or can you bring my water? Or, you know, that type of thing. So I do carry for all my kids depending on what they are taking, what we're taking with us or where we're going, and plus my stuff. So this is, my bags are definitely an all-in-one. It's my purse, it's my wallet, it's my diaper bag. And even though they're not 
baby babies anymore where I have to be carrying diapers, I do carry for them still. So that's why I still carry a diaper bag in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> Um, but this is what the inside looks like. So it has that cream lining with the little hearts, I, which I absolutely love. I love it. And what I have in here right now, this is kind of like what it's what stays in there. I have this, um, I like to match stuff too. So I have this dark uh, water bottle from Starbucks. This is a, a, I can't see how many ounces it is. Oh, 20 ounce. This is a 20 ounce water bottle um, from Starbucks. Duh, it says right there, it's vacuum insulated, so it'll keep stuff cool or warm. Um, and I just use this either for water um, or um, milk. So if we're gonna be gone, this is my full day bag. So if we're gonna be gone for a full day, um, this is the bag I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take some extra milk in here for my little one because she doesn't drink a bottle, but she does take her uh, replay cup with milk sometimes which I don't have that with me but so I keep some extra milk in here that way we're not constantly like stopping for milk and this keeps it nice and cold I put a couple ice cubes in there it works great and it's nice and slim which I like and I stick that in the um, insulated pocket and it stays really nice and cold so right here against the bag I have my um, Bumco diaper clutch I've changed this pouch so many times and I found a lot of great pouches that work and fit it fit the stuff that I have in here but um, I never thought to use my Bumco pouch and I'm really glad that I did um, what I tried to do is get a pouch that keeps it kind of flat so it doesn't take up a lot of space and as you can see this one is not flat it's very bulky but um, I like it because I can throw it in this bag it's not going to take up a bunch of room because this is a large bag and this is my my travel potty kit, I guess you would say. So if we're out and my little ones need to use a public restroom, I have this packed up for that. So I like this particular pouch because right here I carry flushable wipes and before I just had them, I had to go inside and get them out. This way, they're just right here. This is a bag magnet so it's basically a really strong magnet and if there's nowhere to hang your bag you just attach it to the the bathroom stall door and it won't you don't have to put it on the floor or have it around your wrist it's really handy I have used it and it works great so my flushable wipes my bag net um, it's still small enough so it doesn't feel large and inside I have all my potty needs and if you want to know what's in there I have done a video on what I keep in there and it's pretty um, helpful. So, and then back here, I just have the rest of my little needs. So that's what I keep in there because I don't take this everywhere I go. I don't keep it in my everyday bag. This is just for long trips when I know that we are gonna be out and about. And then I have a little wipey case because even though they are not in diapers, we still use wipies for their hands, for their face, for everything. So wipies and then over here on this side pocket, I have a snack tower. They're always snacking and this one is just so cute. It's little piggies um, and this is from Whiskware. Um, and I like this one because this has a large, these are one cup and I believe this top part is one third of a cup. So one cup of whatever you wanna put in there. And they just twist off like that and they have their little snack. So I like that and I keep that in there. And that's how I had it. And then so you can see it has a little um, mesh pocket right here for uh, whatever you'd like to put in there. And then it has a large pocket right here, mesh pocket. And then it has two large slip pockets against the bag. And then it has this large slip pocket right here. And it has another little slip pocket over here. So lots of pockets, which I love. And I forgot to show you guys, but this thing hanging right here is another pocket. On the top of the boss bags, this is on the other bag as well, it has this little zippered pocket, which I really like and think it's cute and convenient. It has a like felt lined little pocket, you could see. And that's good for glasses or pacifiers or you know whatever you want to stick in there but it's nice and soft so that's not gonna like scratch anything 
So I really like that. And yeah, so that's how I had it like packed just ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff back and then I'm gonna pack it with my stuff that I carry every day. And so what I thought when I was ordering the boss bag again um, is even though I don't have to carry bottles and stuff like that, um, I do still carry a lot. Sometimes you need a bigger bag and that was that is why I ordered it again. So when we go on longer trips, I just take from the bag that I'm using and put that stuff in here along with the stuff that I already have in there. So this is an Itsy Ritzy snack everything bag or snack happens bag. Um, it's going to be fall soon, so I'm transitioning all my snack bags and uh, pouches to fall-ish themes. This is just black and white. I like it because it goes with that bag or my black and white bag. So in here, I just have a change of clothes for my little one. She's fully potty trained, but you know, accidents happen sometimes. So I just have a change of clothes and then a wet bag in there. And that I'll just stick right in front. And then this is another wipey case that I have in my everyday bag. So obviously I don't need to throw that in there because I already have one in there. And this is a, um, just a uh, white pouch from Amazon. And it holds quite a bit of wipies, you can see. You know, it's pretty packed. What I do is I just get one big pack of wipies, cut it, you know, open it up, and then split it and put it in different pouches. So that's that one and this one goes really nicely with the black and white bag. But I'll leave that out. And then I have my um, med kit. So I've done a review on all the pouches that I have and I have a lot of pouches. I love pouches, I use them for everything. I use them for snacks, for change of clothes, for myself. I use pouches for everything. And um, I'm not sure if I included this one in there, but this is a hard case. I got a box of them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. They can be used for so many things. I've used this case for so many things, snacks, um, coloring, crayons, basically for stuff that I don't want to get smushed or, you know, it's a hard case and it's small. It's probably the size of my hat, you can see. So it's really small and compact and that's what I love about it. And I decided to throw my med kit in there, which I would usually have in like a small pouch like this, but I like it in here better because um, it's protected. So that's what I have in there in my med kit. And um, I'll stick that in the back pocket right there. And then this is an Itsy Ritzy packing cube and it's the smallest one. And in there I just have my little mom stuff, some headache pills, my little travel, um, nail clipper thing. That's just what I have in there and that I'll go ahead and put in this front flap and you can see that it matches really well. The golden gold hardware, the black mesh. And I really like that because I like matching. So that just goes right in there. Um, I have some hand sanitizer that I'll probably stick on this side pocket and I really like these um, insulated pockets because if you have something slim like this, like two maybe like Dr. Brown bottles or um, two thin like water bottles, you can totally fit two of those in here on each side if you wanted to. So I really like that versus the one little zip mesh pocket. Um, like I said, I'm not carrying a lot now because my girls are older, but um, so I'm just, this is my little um, snack pouch that I'm using right now. And um, I just have little like healthy lollipops in there for them and my little um, cup covers, just random little things, a little boogie board if we're at, like at a restaurant or something. And this is a base, base, base um, pouch. These are like under 20 bucks from the base website and they're super cute and mesh. I really like mesh or see-through stuff so that I know what's in there easily. And also for like my husband or my older kids, I'm if I need them to grab something, they can just see and grab it instead of being like, which bag, which pouch? Because I've gotten that before. <laughs> so, and this is the smallest pouch. No, this is the medium base pouch. There's a small and a large. And so that I'm gonna stick down in this other um, mesh pocket on the front panel. Let's see if that'll fit in there. Yep, it fits in there perfectly. 
So this is what it's looking like and matches really well as well. And they have another color. I think they have beige. Um, sometimes I carry a book for them just to keep them occupied. And you can stick this in the back as well with the um, with your coloring books. That's optional. Um, I carry this little coloring thing in my medium bag. But since I have coloring books for them, I won't include that. Just random little things, hairbrushes. Um, I found these at like Walgreens, I believe, and it's a little tiny um, hairbrush, detangling brush. And I think these are super cute because I have three girls, my oldest girl and then my two little girls and myself. So sometimes we need a brush or I need a, you know, and instead of carrying full size, I always look for minis to put in my bag. So those are really cute. Got them at Walgreens. I'll go ahead and stick those in this back pocket. And what else? Um, I think that's it. That's all I have going on in my small bag, right? Let me check all the pockets. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Um, oh, and then this little, oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and zip that up. That's how it's looking. And that's what I would carry. Not a lot, but enough to carry my large bag. So then I go ahead and zip it up and um, now in this front zipper pocket I would probably throw my I usually carry a um, reusable grocery bag so um, I would probably stick that in there I don't know where it's at but that's what I would put in there or your phone or whatever where's my phone here's my phone this is an A plus, it's really old. Um, I would probably throw that in there because it zips and I feel safe with that. Um, I don't carry a wallet, um, but you could definitely put your full size wallet in there. I don't carry a wallet because on my phone, uh, I have my little wallet. That's just where I carry all my cards, cash, whatever, um, because it's close to me. Um, I don't, th you know, I normally don't throw my phone in my bag. I usually have my phone on me at all times. You can see it has a little wristlet and then it attaches crossbody as well. So, but you can definitely fit a full size wallet in there. So in this little zip pouch in this bag, I just have a little, um, a little like coin purse. This is what I'm using as a little coin purse, some gum, my portable charger and, um, tissues. So, um, this little slip pocket here I really love like I said and I would probably throw my um, portable charger in there because it's easy to grab and then in the front little slip pocket I'll probably put my gum this back other slip pocket I'll put my tissue and my coin purse and then you still have another large slip pocket right here if you want to throw your portable charger in there <clears throat> excuse me and then lastly, I have my Wet Ones Wipes, and those, perfect, I'll just stick right in that slip pocket right there. So that's what it's looking like, and you can see it doesn't look bulky or anything. Um, even though it's packed up, and I do have some bulky items, it doesn't feel any difference weight-wise, maybe a tiny bit, but not too much. Maybe I'm just used to the weight. And. Um, so that's what it looks like packed up. And then I'll go ahead and try it on for you. I haven't really adjusted the, the straps. Like I said, this is the first time I'm even trying it on. That's what it looks like from the side. I'm 5'5". Five five. And that's what it looks like. It doesn't feel, you can't feel the weight. I can't feel the weight. It feels actually really good. Um, I don't know long, you know, throughout the day how it would feel, but um, right now it doesn't feel bad. Like I said, it's not completely packed out, but it's pretty good. It's packed up pretty well. Um, and also, if you have a really good stroller, um, it does come with stroller straps. So you don't even have to carry it if you don't want to. You can just attach it to your stroller and um, these are included. The change pad is included. So it's, it's a really good, bag to have and it's a really it's priced really decently 
and um, it's really pretty. I've gotten many, many compliments on my other bags that I carry from them, and um, I do recommend these. Like I said, I've sold them, and then I've bought them back. I just always come back to them, so I really love Itsy Ritsy, the company and the people and their products. I have no complaints. So that's the Chelsea bag, the new one, 2.0. Um, I hope that this review was helpful and I hope I went over everything, but if you have any questions, definitely um, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks guys.